My name is Alberto Medellin. Uh, I'm IT manager here at the local health district. And this is our house that we found in Texas City. We got it off the, off the MLS. So when we first bought the house, uh, it was a 3-2 and it was completely red. So we called this house the barn house. Uh, and we ended up adding a bedroom inside to make it a four, four bedroom, two bath. It also has uh, an enclosed patio that was sort of an afterthought. We put carpet in it and we put a mini split AC. So then it became uh, living space, right? So we increased the, the square footage by about 245 square feet. So we bought the house for 85,000, uh, renovated it for about 65K, but holding costs were all in about 190. And we currently have an offer on the table for 250,000. So after commissions and fees and things, we will probably make over 40,000 in profit. Favorite question, biggest lesson learned. So this particular property was supposed to be done back in April and we're in August now. So really the, the many lessons I learned were how to manage your general contractor. And so basically the general contractor kind of let them tell me what they were doing, uh, not only with the project, but also with my money. And uh, at the end of the day, the house looks beautiful. Uh, I think you'll probably see some of the photos uh, in the video. It looks beautiful, but it was a very stressful uh, situation to be in with our contractor. So we just know from next time, right, uh, commandment number one, don't pay your contractor for things that they haven't done yet. So really, I'm investing in real estate uh, to achieve financial freedom. Um, and w that kind of means something different for everybody. For us, it's not only uh, leaving a legacy for my kids and my kids' kids, but also trying to help people in our community. Uh, my wife and I, we have uh, certain uh, uh, organizations that we like to support, like the Food Bank and the Salvation Army. We want to be able to do that more with our time and our money. I, honestly, whenever anyone asks me about the mentorship and about EHAB, the first thing that I tell them is it's helped me with my mindset and the fact that you know you have to take daily action, like this massive, imperfect daily action in order to achieve your dreams and achieve your goals, right? Because before, I was just talking about doing things and sitting on the couch or watching a YouTube video or listening to a podcast, but I wasn't really taking action. And so, and that's what the program really taught me was uh, how to take action, but also the dream team that EHAB opens up in the mentorship really accelerated what I was trying to do. I mean, it would probably take me one or two years to build a team that we have now. Of course, I've kind of gone on and built, uh, added other people to my team, but that was those two things, mindset and the dream team. And then one more, EHAB's availability. So that's one thing that I've heard horror stories with mentorships and ma masterminds is you can't get somebody on the phone or I mean Ehab will meet you at the property, walk it with you, give you his feedback and he's pretty available pretty much almost 24 seven. <laughs>